It's 5 o'clock. Now, with Gretchen Works and Mark Welp, this is Good Company. Good evening and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Good Company. I'm Gretchen Works. And I'm Anna Welp. And I'm Lauren And let's get begin here with your menu. All right, first up, State Bank of Spear joins us with advice on what to do before you try to buy a house. And, and speaking of houses, our good company realtor joins us with a look at the house of the market in the heart of Illinois. Plus, we'll head to the good company kitchen to cook up some delicious red, white, and blue food. All right, well, it's going to be a good show. Obviously, if you could tell by their last names, these are Mark's lovely daughters that are here today. Uh, we uh, left Dad off to the side. He's looking a little scruffy this week, so uh, he's not really TV ready, is he? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good start, good start. Girls, you guys are in town from California, right? And uh, you're. Well, I'm so glad you guys are co-hosting with me today because everyone wants to know some scoop on your dad. Uh, you guys have any embarrassing? Anna, you, I know you have some embarrassing stories on your dad. Anything you can tell us about uh, that he's done this week that's been embarrassing? That's well, clean. <laughs> Have you had fun this week? What have you guys done? Um, well, we went to Impact Wrestling. Yeah, what'd you think of that? That was really good. Yeah, now you, Lord, you got into that. You were sitting in front of me. <laughs> uh, you were standing the whole time. I couldn't even see. You were going, you guys were both going pretty crazy. Did you like it? Yeah. Is that something you'd like to go to again? Yeah, my favorite part was the girls wrestling because the, the girls extension came out. <laughs> That's right, the hair extensions. That was good. That was good. Um, and it tells some other things you guys have done uh, this week here with your dad besides the wrestling. Well, we when we were in St. Louis, we went to the zoo, and we went to the Kirkwood pool, and we went to a baseball game. Wow, you guys are busy. Did your dad take off his shoes and actually have his feet out there in the pool? Yeah. Are they gross? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad doesn't like feet very much, does he? No, because, like, every time I wear open-toe sandals like this uh -huh. or flip-flops, he's like, ew, feet. I know, he does that to me, too. <laughs> he's got to get over that. He just has to get over that, doesn't he? Uh, so you guys have had a lot of fun. You've seen a lot of relatives, been doing a lot of traveling, right? Yep. Uh, we're going to do some cooking today. Have you guys been helping uh, your dad and Laura cook around the house? Not no. Really. <laughs> Do you guys like to cook at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you like to make? Um, anything really. Like anything? I make breakfast sometimes, like eggs and bacon. Really? Sometimes I help baking cakes if wow. it was for a present. Very good. What about you, Lauren? You like to cook? Yeah, my favorite like thing to cook is like the sweets because you get to put a whole bunch of <laughs> like. All the and bad stuff in there? Yeah. You like chocolate and all that? Chocolate caramel. Oh, yes. Well, we have our Heidi dietitian on. She keeps things kind of healthy sometimes. But it's good. Good mm -hmm. and healthy. So you're going to love doing that. Uh, you guys had your dad's birthday, too. Mm -hmm. He's an old, old man. He's getting up there way older than me. What would you guys do for his birthday? Well, we just hung out. Hung out? We went yeah. to the Kirkwood pool that day. Oh, very fun. But it was thundering. Thundering. And lightning. So, did you get him a present? What'd you get him? Mm, yeah, we <laughs> kind of forgot about that. You forgot about his present? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Okay. Um, we got him a picture frame. Oh. And mine was purple stripes, like a, like different colored purples uh -huh. with um like bling stickers on. Them. Oh, cool. What was the picture of? Um, me. Of you. <laughs> Wait, no. Like, well, of uh, my dad, but. Me as a baby. As you as a ba oh, yeah. cool. And what'd you get? Did you do the same thing? Yeah, but um, mine was blue and a sparkly purple, Ooh. and it had dog prints all over it. Oh, that's and cool. And in inside it was just shaped as a heart, and it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that, that was his favorite present. Those are pretty cool. Did you guys have cake? Did you go out to eat for his birthday? Um, we went to Sonic that day. Ooh. And, Very good. And we were at our aunt's house. Yeah. Well, she she nannies and mm -hmm. that was her house. Uh huh. And so we just had all this bunch of food there. Oh, fun. Yeah, but the day that well, yesterday we celebrated uh -huh. and we went to Logan's Roadhouse. Yeah. Um, with um, Laura's parents, mm -hmm. and um. After that, we had like this tie-dye um, cake. Ooh, it was cool. that's cool. 
You guys didn't make it though, huh? You didn't. You weren't baking. I you're wish we did. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty you're good on vacation. Cake. You don't have to bake right now. No. But we are going to get into the kitchen very soon, so don't go anywhere. All right. Later on, find out how you can invest in a home now and make money off of it down the road. But coming up after the break, State Bank of Spears in with the financial advice you need to know before you start house hunting. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here to Good Company. Well, the 4th of July is a time for celebrating our country's independence, and there's sure to be lots of fireworks, barbecues, and, of course, tons of red, white, and blue. Joining me now is hy dietitian Susan Waltrip-Buck, along with my special co-host, Anna, over there, and Lauren Welp. Yay. Mark's <laughs> lovely daughters are here. Uh, you guys are twins. We've got to tell everybody. How old are you guys again? Ten. 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 Soon to be 11, right? Yep. Okay. okay. Well, then they are perfect to help out Susan today. Susan, what are we yes. doing? So I thought, and you guys were coming, I thought we can create. You are going to decide. You're going to make up the recipe for me today. We're Ooh. going to make salsa. Ooh. We are going to make red, white, and blue salsa. And so that is the only rule that you have to follow is that when you put it together, you have to have a red, a white, and a blue. Okay. And so what we've brought, I brought in some fruits that we're going to use to make our salsas with. Now, usually I think of tomatoes and salsa mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but we've got some fruit salsa. Yeah, right? I thought this was more fun, yes. um, and it's something a little bit different, and kids like it, right? Yes. You said, why has it got to be fruit? I love fruit. And I said, well, that's why. That's why. <laughs> that is why. Sweeter. We like that. And we're going to add maybe a little honey, a little cinnamon, mm -hmm. but absolutely, we're going to combine this together. So what I want you to do is pick. We've got some raspberries. We've got strawberries. Mm. We've got watermelons. And so those are going to be our reds. And then we've got blue. We've got blueberries. I couldn't think of anything else. We had blue potatoes, but I didn't think that no, was going to work out too bad. well. <laughs> <laughs> so blueberries. And then our whites are going to be, we have some shallots. Ooh. We've got some white peaches, which are amazing. I love the white peaches. They just drip, right? Yum. So juicy. Coconut. And we're going to count our lemon as some little white lemon. Too. Okay. Too. And we got right. some herbs too, right? And some herbs. And I'm just going to start chopping those yep. up. Yeah, and I, I want you to start chopping some of these up. I brought the big giant knife for you to do it. All right, <laughs> I love it. And we're going to use some herbs. Lauren, if you want to start gathering some of the, the different things, you can get blueberries. You want to oh, chop or you want to cut apple. an apple? Yeah, we'll have a okay. chop. Yes, yeah. You can do the apple, and we can cut that into little pieces. You know how to do that? Like this. Yeah, and just go then down hard. Go. Very good. Oh, yes, use Come your on. muscles. Come muscles. on, Lauren. You can oh, do it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Keep nice. going. Keep Anna, going. That's exactly right. So, Anna, you have basil. And oh. what you're going to do is Got you're going to make a ship and of basil. So, right, what, pick what you did little. was you rolled up the leaves, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to put the seam down. And then I want you to take the knife, and you're going to hold oh, it with this hand and make a little C, out. a downward C with your hand, curling your fingers back because we don't want to add that to the recipe. Mm -hmm. I want you to hold the knife a little different. Really I'm going to have you curl your hand around here and hold this, and then okay. pick a pointy on more. the what end. Are, what other fruit you want to put in And then chop, and then go it. down. Yeah, just go cut, cut, cut. Right. And you're making, let's call really it like good. a little mm -hmm. chiffonade, so like little curly cues mm -hmm. of basil, which is really nice. Ooh, very Ooh. good coconut. You got to do a chiffonade? She's doing wow. it. Wow. I know, <laughs> I know. Impressive. Oh, and look at yours. Yes, we're going to cut that into some pieces. What's your blue going to be? Our one and only, right? Got to get some blueberries. going to throw right. some blueberries in. Put your spoons. Oh, go ahead, put your hands right in there. That's nice. Do you want to start creating? Just wash your hands. Here? Very good. No. no. I'm going to pop up some oh. apples for you. Oh, brother. Very okay. good. Here. I'll chop up these little apples, and you just, just keep Blue creating beer. whatever you'd like. So you're going blueberries and coconuts. Ooh, coconut. Nice. I'm going to put some honey to Ooh, sweeten it some up. Little, All right. I like Do it. that. Take it up. That's a nice way to sweeten it. And we only need to add just a little bit because, as we know, fruit's awfully sweet on its own, yes, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Very good. There's some apples. Can I the strawberries? Oh, sure. <laughs> yes, you may. Please pass the strawberries. <laughs> and this is so oh, good nice. for us, too, girls. You, you know, red. got lots of vitamin C. Um... I'm going to have some raspberries and watermelon. Raspberries. Ooh, there you good. are, my dear. Thank There's you. Shallots. Do you know what shallots are? Are you going to put shallots in there? No. Do you know what they are? What's no. a shallot? It's an onion. Would you like some of these? Are you good? Onions right, and some. strawberries. You got okay. some of those? Yes. I've got up some apples chopped up here for you. Would anybody care for some basil? I will have some basil, So the please. basil's going to add some nice um, flavor. It's just, it's, it's um, you know, basil and yeah, you think usually good. tomatoes and stuff, right. but it really kind of brings out some of the fruit. And adding those shallots, it's just a little, it's a very mild onion is what it is. So okay. with the sweetness of the fruit, combining the two of them together, it just gives a little bit of zip. I think, Lauren, you asked earlier, is it going to be spicy? And I said, it's not going to be that spicy, but adding those shallots will certainly give it a little bit of a kick to it. Ooh, okay. And you could add, if you wanted to, you could add some 
some different um, herbs. You could maybe add a little bit of nutmeg if you wanted oh, to. You okay. could add some clove if you wanted to. Very some good. Lemon. You want some lemon in there too? Very yeah, nice. Some lemon. Some lemon. You want some lemon? Some lemon, yes. Go. Very good. Now what kind of chips are we eating with these? Okay, yes, so, so our... we have some nice chips at the store. They're like little pita chips and like they're usually just plain, but I asked them, I said, took them over to the kitchen. I said, could you sprinkle them with some cinnamon and sugar and bake them through? And they did it for us. So if that's something that you like, you can certainly take those over and they'll whip those together for you, but they're really great. All right, that's over there at hy V. of course. You saw the address on the screen. And when we come back, we're going to try out our tasty treats. Okay. Oh, Marlon, good company. Mark heads to Bob Grimm and I talk to our friends from Secu. And we'll tell you about a very special backyard town. Plus, we'll take the good company, Hardy's Pies, real first thing. All right, now we're trying our salsa. What would you guys think? Have you tried it yet? Take a bite. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I made one last night. I did the blueberries, the raspberries, um, some of the white peaches, and some mint, honey, and cinnamon. And that's just overnight. That's thumbs up. Say goodbye, girls. Bye. <laughs>